Okay, wonderful. Good morning. I've gone ahead and started the recording. We do record these calls because sometimes there are some wonderful moments in God that happen, and we like to be able to keep them, and we even sometimes revisit them. Um, this morning, uh, Brandon is not actually on the line, but he had asked us to call and in and pray for the men this morning. Of course, Beverly, if you have a prayer request, I'll take that from you. Oh, do you have um, I would like to uh, lift up my my youngest brother, um, Rodney Knox. He is uh, looking for employment and um, has some health issues and also uh, a, a background as well. So it's a little bit more challenging for him. So I would mm-hmm. lift him up this morning. And also my... Um, my aunt Evelina, um, they're thinking it may possibly be ALS. Uh, we are praying not, um, but she's having a terrible time with uh, being able to walk and flexibility. So lots of tests, lots of blood work. So she okay. feels like skin cushion right now. But um, oh. and I, I really understand that. Um, Beverly, I understand that time when you see more doctors than you see family. I completely get that. So, okay, Aunt Evelina. Okay, and um, I'm going to go ahead and start it this morning. I usually start with a um, scripture. And this morning, my Bible gateway was John 15:5. I am the vine, you mm-hmm. are the branches. The yes. one who remains in me... And I in him bears much fruit. Mm. Yes, but yes, otherwise, yes. apart from me, that is cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. And mm-hmm. therefore, we find our strength that with God, what did he say? All things are possible. possible. I can do all things through yes. Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Apart from God, we can do nothing. Not that we can't do anything in this world, but we can do nothing that is lasting. And we can do nothing that we can take with us. I did hear another thing if someone wants to bring in a prayer request before I get started. That new person like to give a prayer request? Hello, Julia. I'm on right Oh, now. good morning, Brandon. There you are. Okay. Yeah. I was just telling um, everyone that you may or may not be on the call, but glad that you're here. We were just about to get started. I had read the scripture. Um, I let everybody know that uh, you had called for this prayer to be about men. Um, Beverly had just given um, some prayer requests, and I have those. But uh, if you're here, would you like to open in prayer, or would you just like me to go ahead? Uh, I can open in prayer. I can okay. open in prayer. And then you can go. Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Heavenly Father. Thank you for yes. this morning that you have allowed us to come together and pray, Heavenly Father, even in the difficulty, Heavenly Father, with people not showing up at the job, Heavenly Father. Mm. Thank you for having my supervisor to give me grace period of time, Heavenly Father, in order to pray with the family, Heavenly Father, on the prayer line, Heavenly Father. We want to cover the men, Heavenly Father. We want to cover the men this morning, Heavenly Father, all together, Heavenly Father, that are not in the midst, Heavenly Father, that are not believing, Heavenly Father, that are drawn away from Jesus, Heavenly Father, questioning Jesus, questioning his name, questioning him as a person, Heavenly Father, questioning his love, Heavenly Father, questioning his strength, Heavenly Father, your son and you in the flesh, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for forming us together, Heavenly Father, but we want to pray, Heavenly Father, that you bring men back to Christ, Heavenly Father, today, Heavenly Father. Social media has brought Heavenly Father harm to the men, Heavenly Father, the media, music, Heavenly Father. We want to cover these men, Heavenly Father, as they are affected by the world, Heavenly Father. And you know, Heavenly Father, that the man, Heavenly Father, and we know that the enemy is trying to cut off the head, Heavenly Father. So he can eliminate the body, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So, Heavenly Father, as we come together, we specifically want to pray for these men, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord, Black, white, 
European, Mexican, Heavenly Father, but we especially want to pray for our African-American men, Heavenly Father, who are going through a storm, Heavenly Father, and the storms that they're going through, Heavenly Father, it's hard for them to believe something that they can't see, but the word says, Heavenly Father, all you have to have is a, a faith of a mustard seed, Heavenly Father, so with the little bit of faith that we have, Heavenly Father, I pray, Heavenly Father, because the Bible says, you draw unto me, I'll draw unto you, Heavenly Father. So we want to draw unto you this morning, Heavenly Father. I pray that the men that are on this line, Heavenly Father, that they cover the other men in prayer, Heavenly Father, that are not able to be on the phone or don't want to be on the phone, Heavenly Father. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that they go back to the church, and we pray that the church leaders, Heavenly Father, take time into these men, Heavenly Father, that they won't see the economic growth Heavenly Father in the church They will see growth spiritually yes. Heavenly Father yes. in the name of Jesus spiritual We want to get growth. rid of prosperity uh, uh, Talking prosperity Within income Heavenly Father and talk sp- Prosperity within the spirit Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Because we know as Christians Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus and The enemy is on attack Heavenly Father yes, the is, so We just want to pray for faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for your love and guidance, Heavenly Father, in the mm. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray to you as we say to you, and duty go on. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm going to go right in. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning again for waking us up as we always have so far. Your mercies are new and fresh every morning, and we thank you and bless your name for those mercies to open our eyes as we have done so many years, not even thinking, not even stopping to say, hmm, I opened my eyes this morning and I can see. I listened and I could hear. I moved my limbs and I could get out of this bed. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for those blessings and those mercies and those gra- that grace, Heavenly Father. I, of those that are on the road, Lord, we ask that you cover them as they listen in on this prayer, as they drive to their destinations. We thank God for places we can go. We thank God for the conveyance and the vehicle that gets us to our destination. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for all of these things because there are many, many that I know or hear from that do not have these things and wish they could have what we have, Lord. So help us not to take anything for granted. We thank you for these things. I do have prayer requests before you this morning. Jennifer is on the line and she prayed that she is will be able to fight against some sickness that is coming upon her in her ears, Heavenly Father. We rebuke that spirit of illness, Lord. We rebuke that spirit of illness that is coming against her this morning. Help her to continue to walk in the way that she needs to walk. She needs to be able to get to and from her job. She needs to be able to continue to be a mother. She cannot be laid up at this point, Heavenly Father. So we ask and we pray that you go ahead and bless her with health, Heavenly Father, that she can continue to do what she needs to do during this season. Heavenly Father, we also have Beverly on the line. She is calling in to lift up her younger brother. We lift up Rodney, Heavenly Father, Rodney Knox, Lord, in so many ways. Also, we rebuke the spirit of illness against the health of this man, sir, Lord. We we rebuke anything that should come against him, but we are also calling for employment. And you know the nature of the need, Heavenly Father. You know the particular specifics of the need, Heavenly Father, that he has. And we ask that you go ahead and bless him abundantly, more than he could ever think or ask, where he will be able to say, I know it was nothing but the Lord that did this for me. Heavenly Father, we call down that type of of power, Lord, in his life so that he will be able to be a testimony to other men that when you put your faith and trust in God, he will deliver you when no man is for you. Who can be against you when God is for you? Heavenly Father, we pray for him. We also lift up her Aunt Evelina, Lord. There's a possible diagnosis. I will not even name it. You know what it is. We know there's a possible diagnosis but we come against this we come against this but we also ask that the doctors be able to find whatever it is that is going on that is causing her difficulty Lord I ask that the thing be something that can be dealt with Heavenly Father or that you can remove it Lord I know what it's like to see the doctors more than I see people Heavenly Father but I also know your healing power in my body and so therefore I call out against this thing whatever is in her body Lord 
I call out against it, Heavenly Father. I call that you will rise up and give her strength to her limbs, Heavenly Father, that you will cause her walking to be straight, Lord. They said no one can put the, the crooked leg straight but you, Heavenly Father. So we know by your stripes we are healed. And I call that healing down on her this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we are praying for the men this morning. We are praying for them. They are not in the churches, Lord, but we see them in the street. We see them in the, the clubs. We see them in the bars. We see them all around town. We know that they are alive, Lord. It is not like they are not alive, but Heavenly Father, they're not alive in you. And with the scripture we just read this morning, that apart from you, we can do nothing. From Only in you do what, whatever we do survive and causes there to be fruit, causes there to be growth, causes there to be something for someone else. So I'm calling down, Lord, this morning. Touch the men where they are. Give them a longing. Give them a longing for you this morning, Lord, that they will not understand that nothing in this world can solve what they're looking for. Nothing in this world can give them the peace that you can give them. Nothing in this world can set their rights, their life straight like you have. All the hustling and grinding, Heavenly Father, is for naught if they do not build up their treasure in heaven. Heavenly Father, help them again to understand that you are the head and you are the king. And if they follow you, that there is nothing that you will not, that you will withhold from them, dear Lord. I thank you, Jesus, this morning for all of what you're going to do in the lives of everyone on this call, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, for every life that they're going to touch. I ask that you strengthen them, Lord. Strengthen them and rise them up to be able to give forth a testimony to your magnificent power, your magnificent grace and mercy in our lives. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask these things as we go into our weekend, Lord. It's the end of the week. We thank God for Friday, but we also thank God for another weekend that we're coming up. Keep us all safe from all heart, harm, and danger, Lord, as we go about this town. Keep us in our right minds. Keep us away from any, any accidents, Lord. We're praying for the families that have lost people this close to the holidays and these accidents, Heavenly Father. We ask that you cover them, Lord. But keep us safe as we go out and about, and either to events or to church or anything, Lord. And bring us back to the appointed time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If amen. anyone else would like to pray at this time. Please feel free. I, I'm, I'm not going to pray, but I did want everyone, to, as we are praying for the men, please also keep in mind mental illness. Um, and Judy knows the story. I have a very good friend who is battling with post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a form of mental illness. And I'm reminded in Scripture where the Bible says if we keep our minds stayed on mm. him, that he would keep us in perfect peace. But when men and women don't know God, they don't know peace. So please pray, his name is Curtis, that God would heal him of depression and post-traumatic stress. Mm, thank you, Jennifer. Yes, we will lift him up. There are so many that are suffering and are going about thinking that no one understands their problem, no one sees their hurt and their pain. And God, first of all, sees the hurt and pain. But it's also through us that we can be friends, we can support, we can give advice, we can let them know that they're not by themselves. But I'll tell you the truth, we're going to continue to lift him up in prayer, I'll, I'll just go back in prayer for him because I feel strongly about this. Dear Heavenly Father, this morning we're coming with Curtis, who is suffering from PTSD, Lord. He's suffering from the things that have happened, the trauma that has happened in his life, and it has made it so that it is difficult for him to form the bonds of relationship with you as well with others in the world, Heavenly Father. We come against this plague and this scourge, Heavenly Father, that disrupts his life, that disrupts peace, that disrupts settling down, that disrupts employment, that in disrupts everything in his life for the moments that he goes through. I come against the scourge, depression, Heavenly Father, that so many are saying that word, Lord. I come against it, Lord, because if they knew the power and the strength they have in you, if they knew that you will never leave them nor forsake them, Heavenly Father, if they knew that you're right there, you were in there yesterday, you're already in tomorrow, and 
and you're walking beside us today. The Bible says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Dear Heavenly Father, if we can get our men to understand, you are with them, Lord, even in the valley of the shadow of death. Dear Heavenly Father, let them understand the rest of that scripture. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that they understand these words, that they can apply them to their lives, that they can walk in confidence, Lord, even when they don't know the next step. But the Bible Bible says we, we walk by faith and not by sight, Lord. We put one foot in front of the other, not because we see what is in front of us, Lord, but that we know that you hold us in your hand, that you hold tomorrow, that you walk with us, that you have formed a plan about us, and it is good that you said no weapon shall form against us shall prosper. Heavenly Father, we ask that the men understand this, that they see and that they can rise up and be strong because of who their God is, when they can say who comes against the armies of the living God heavenly father when they can walk in that confidence as David did and they can walk in the confidence as Gideon did as they can walk in the confidence that Solomon had that they can walk in the confidence that Peter Paul Matthew Luke John had heavenly father then they can go into places and understand that greater is he that is for you than he that is against you greater are the ones that surround you that you should not even dash your foot against a stone Dear Heavenly Father, I pray against all these mental things that are coming against men today. I pray that they be loosed. You know, the women, we're already loose, but we need the men to be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. We need these mental strains and these mental chains to come off of these men so that they can walk in the power and in the might that you have established in them. You created them first, yes, Heavenly Father. You created them first, Heavenly Father. You created them first. And they're supposed to be our leaders, our strong men. They're not supposed to be silent. They're not supposed to be scared. And, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will release them, Lord. Release them. And I rebuke these spirits, these demons, these yes, powers Lord. and principalities yes. that come against their mind. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just hear this so heavily. I rebuke this, Lord, so that they will be free, that they will understand their freedom is not on a political system. Their freedom is not in a in a business and an empire. Their freedom is not in being a mogul or a grinding and they're hustling. Heavenly Father, their freedom is always in you, dear Lord. Their freedom and their confidence is in you. And I pray these things in the matchless, mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Is there anyone else on the line that would like to pray with us? Mm, I'm still in the spirit of of praying for the men, anyone else that has prayer requests? Mm. I was reading this morning, and I'm going to make this very brief. I was looking for some things this morning about the men, and I came across an article that said five characteristics of a godly man. And if anybody, if you're on Facebook with me and you want the link, I'll send it to you, but I'm going to read them very quick. A godly man steps up. He leads, he initiates, he is a man of action. He assumes it is his job and his moment. He hates apathy and he rejects being passive. Number two, a godly man speaks out. He is not silent in the midst of sin because that in and of itself is sin. He's courageous. He fears God, but not man, and he knows how to speak the truth in love. Number three, a godly man stands strong. We're so accustomed to the hearing of a strong woman and a strong black woman, but it is our men that are to stand strong. You don't give in when you're challenged and attacked and criticized, but at the same time as God fortifies you and makes you steadfast and immovable, you are of a sober spirit and you know how to resist your adversary, the devil. Number four, a godly man stays humble. He is vigilant against pride and the ego. He gets the log out of his own eye before he begins to take the speck out of someone else. And it is not that you think less of yourself. You just think of yourself less. And number five, 
a godly man serves the king. Yes, he is a king, but he serves the heavenly king. He seeks first his kingdom, his glory, and his righteousness in God. And his hope is in the internal, not just in the carnal and the worldly and the temporary. And he lives for a greater reward, not just the temporary kingdoms and mansions he can build in the sands of this world. Those are the five characteristics that that we are looking for to return to the church and our leaders in the church as well as the men that sit in the sanctuary. And so this morning I seek to encourage you to pray for those things to return to men in this world. Help them to take their rightful place. Help them to understand the power that they have in God. And I just wanted, like I said, share that with you. If there's anyone else that has a prayer request, a praise report, or anything they would like to add, go ahead. Well, if all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and close out. I'm not sure if Brandon is still on the line. Yes, I'll I'm go- on. Okay. I'm on here. And remember, y'all, uh, um, next Friday, We'll be we'll be bowling from seven to ten o'clock at uh, Concord Mills. So come yes. out. We already got two lanes reserved. Um, so make sure you get on Facebook, uh, URSVP with Judy, and come out and have a good time. And if anybody has any announcements that they want to make on something they're doing, I know Jennifer has a prep call Monday at five thirty a.m. Um, so, Jennifer, if you're still on, you can give the number out to the prep call, 5.30 a.m. Yes, good morning, everyone. The prep call is at 5.30 a.m. The number is 712-715-7000, and the code is 223506. The number, again, is 712 Five seven thousand. The code is two two three five zero six. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any announcements? Um, this is Beverly. Uh, we are actually doing our um, annual Christmas program for yes. the youth and children in uh, the Hoskins and Thomasboro area of Charlotte um, on next. Saturday the 17th uh, from 2 to 5 p.m. at um, Hoskins Avenue Baptist Church. Uh, it'll be held in the fellowship hall. And um, I've provided that flyer, so it should be on the site too. So. Yes, Look I'm going to post it. We're seeing everyone, if you can come out and volunteer. Um, um, we had over 100 kids last year. Wow, wonderful. Yeah, so we're looking for about the same again this year. I'm going to go ahead and post it on both of our of the like page and our group, and I've already uh, made plans to volunteer. Um, so I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I love children, so this is going to be a lot of fun for me. Anyone else on the line, if you'd like to join, um, the flyer will be up momentarily on Facebook. And is that everyone? All right, well, let me close okay. in prayer. Yes, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you come and encourage Heavenly Father with whatever, whatever he is going through, Heavenly Father, mentally, Heavenly Father. We pray that that mental health issue, Heavenly Father, turns into spiritual guidance and a spiritual gift, Heavenly Father, that he has, Heavenly Father, in order to draw into you, Heavenly Father, because we all know through a personal relationship, how you bless us, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I pray, Heavenly Father, for uh, Beverly, that she holds a successful event next week, Heavenly Father, dealing with the kids, Heavenly Father. We all know that that's not an easy thing to do, Heavenly Father, to put events together, Heavenly Father, but bless her, Heavenly Father, with the gift that she has, Heavenly Father, in order to make this event a huge success, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, for every Heavenly Father, even the ones 
who are silent, Heavenly Father, and just want to know what's going on in this prayer call, Heavenly Father. But as you see, Heavenly Father, you are about to show up and show out. So we just pray, Heavenly Father, that they're able to make announcements, Heavenly Father, and, and announce, Heavenly Father, what you have done for them throughout the week. I want to pray that you bless them through this week so they can come back, Heavenly Father, next week, next Friday, Heavenly Father, and talk about everything that you've done with them throughout the week, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you for allowing me to have this time, Heavenly Father, while I'm at work, Heavenly Father, to pray, Heavenly Father, in the midst, Heavenly Father. I want to pray, Heavenly Father, for everything. Jesus prayer. We love you. Thank you for everything you do, will do, and thank you for being you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, and remember, amen. I got to go, but remember, we love you, but God loves you more. Amen. Amen. Everyone have a blessed weekend, and we'll see you either online or next Friday. Take care. Amen. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.